Hey guys, I'm Bez and welcome to your 6th Java Swing tutorial. Now in this video, as I said, I'm gonna be building a simple calculator to display the sum of two numbers and by that you'd learn the usage of text fields along with the use of message dialog of gOption pane because that is what I'm gonna be using to display the result. So without a further ado, just get started. So first of all, I just need a J label. And it would say first number, another label for second number, and I'll just place it properly. That seems good. Okay, so these are the two labels, and now I need the text fields where the numbers would be entered. So I'll just bring a text field here I'll need another one and now let me just change the variable names of this text field so no it's not a huge name be much more easier for me to type in the names later on when I'm doing the coding and that's it so these are the text fields where the numbers would be entered and now we just need a button right that would be clicked to display the result and we'll call the button sum and that seems great now let me just you know run the application first of all so this is our application right now in this text field the user can enter some number here he or she can also enter some other number and when the sum is clicked then here a message would show that would tell the user that these are the results so let's do it now for adding an action listener to this button we just need to double click it right so here we do it so this is the action listener that eclipse creates for us by default now within the action performed we have to write the code to add the two numbers now whenever you enter something to a text field then that is accepted as a string but you obviously can't do you know addition like or multiplication on strings right you have to parse it to integer or float or double and so that's what we are going to be doing right now so let me store the first number in num1 and it's equal to I hope you know how to parse and if you don't you can just follow me and as an argument parse into take the text from tf1 and get text is the method that you use to get the text from a text field and then from the number 2 we'll do the same Now this time it would be tf2.getText. Pretty simple, huh? Now to store the sum, we just need another variable, right? So let me name the variable as sum and let sum equals num1 plus num2. Now we just have to display this sum using a message dialog. So how do you do that? Well, you do it by writing here like this. You write J option pane dot show message dialog. Now the first component is null because you are not doing any modifications like how the message box will look like when it appears on the screen. You just want to use the default settings, right? That's why you use a null. Later on, you will understand when we do some changes to it now here I have to just type in the message like the sum is what is the sum is stored in the num variable sum right and that's it now if I just you know run this application and now give some numbers like 45 and the second numbers as 987 now if I click sum you see the sum is shown 
in the message box so i hope that by this example you got a much more better idea of action listener and how you can use them in different scenarios and i will recommend you that this here i just did for the sum now you add some more buttons to your form like multiplication division or modulus and write the same code for them as well so you know you'll get a much more better grip at it so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one